Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm gonna teach you how to play a song called Rap Lord by Hakai. So okay, I'll be teaching you the repeating piano section of this song. But anyway, this is like the background of the whole song, so really awesome stuff. So here we go. Give you a quick preview of what it sounds like first before we learn it. It goes like this. Repeats. Etc. Okay. Let's go ahead and learn it. Okay. So here we go. Let me just double check. We can see all the keys. Yeah, we can. Fantastic. Let's start. Okay. Breaking up this lesson into four parts. Okay. So uh, the first part out of the four parts goes like this. Okay. So start on the D sharp here. So here's middle C for a reference. We go up an octave C. We go up another octave C. We start on the D sharp, high D sharp right here. Actually, if you have a real piano, you can actually start another octave higher. But I can't really see the keys on this on my piano. So yeah, I'll, I'll just play it to you later. What it sounds like another octave. Higher, but that's what the original actually is. It's actually another octave higher. But anyway, regardless, let's learn it here first in this lesson. So it goes like this D sharp, B, G sharp, B, and you repeat that four notes again, like that. G sharp, B, like that. And that's the first part. Pretty simple stuff. It's the four notes repeated for two times, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this D sharp, B, G sharp, B, repeat the four notes D sharp, B, G sharp. B like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the first part. Once you get that left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is G sharp minor, which consists of the note G sharp, B, and D sharp. Okay, so that G sharp minor chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this. Basically, it's really simple. It's the first note on the right hand place with the chord together, and you hold the chord like this. For all the parts, it's like that as well. So it goes like this together. Just like that. Pretty simple, right? One more time. So it just goes like this. Just like that and that's the first part okay so now moving on to the second part the second part is really similar to the first part um, it just goes like this okay so it goes the first half is the same it goes D sharp B G sharp B but the second half of it is a bit different it goes D sharp B and then A sharp B like that okay so that's the second part for the right hand one more time so it goes like this it goes D sharp B G sharp B and then D sharp B changes to A sharp B like that. So that's the right hand for the second part, okay? So with that in mind, left hand exactly the same chord as the first part, which is this one G sharp minor chord, which is G sharp B D sharp. So with that G sharp minor chord in mind, the two hands together goes like this, goes D sharp and G sharp minor together. So it goes together. And that is the second part. One more time, so it goes like this, together. That's it, okay, so back to back, the first and the second part will be played like this, check it out. Sounds pretty nice already. Let's go ahead and now moving on to the third part. The third part continues like this, right hand, it goes D sharp, B, A sharp, B, D sharp, B, up to the high E, D sharp, and that is the third part. One more time for this third part, so it goes like this. D sharp, B, A sharp, B, D sharp, B, up to E, D sharp. Just like that for the right hand. So that's the right hand for the third part. Once you get that left hand for this third part, we have E major as the chord, which is E, G sharp, B. Yes, so with that E major chord in mind, so E, G sharp, B, the two hands together goes like this. D sharp and E major together. Just like that, okay? So pretty simple. Once again, it's just the first note on the right hand play of the chord together. So it's together. Like that, and that's the third part. So far, the first, the second, and the third part will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Sounds awesome. Moving on to the fourth and last part of this repeating motif. It goes like this, right hand, it goes D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, B, 
A sharp, G sharp, like that. And that's the fourth part. One more time for this fourth part. So it goes like this. D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, like that for the right hand. Okay, so that's the right hand for this fourth and last part. Okay, once you get that, the left hand, we have one chord here. The one chord is D sharp major, which is D sharp, G, A sharp. Okay, so with that D sharp major in mind, the two hands together goes like this. It goes, once again, first note and the chord together. So it's together. Just like that, one more time for this fourth part. So it goes like this. Together. And that's it. So back to back, the first, second, third, and fourth part will be played back to back like this. Check it out. Repeats. Etc. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so as I said before, the right hand you can actually play another octave higher, which you can't see on the screen, which is something like this. Okay, but if your piano is not as big as a full size piano, you probably can't play that. No, it's not existing on your piano. But anyway, for my piano, is a real piano, acoustic piano, so it can go another octave to that higher D sharp. So you can't see my hand right now. I'll just show you how it sounds. So it's more like the original. Like this. Check it out. Yes, okay, it depends what you like. If it's too high for you, just go back to an octave down here. Yes. That's pretty much it, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this very easy step-by-step -step tutorial to learn how to play this pretty catchy, um, awesome instrumental of this song. But anyways, have fun learning this. If you enjoy learning this way of um, uh, piano learning, melodies and chords, I teach these methods all the time. How my channel is like filled with all these. I have like 2,500 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So go ahead and check it out, subscribe, and yeah, enjoy learning those stuff. But anyway, also check out my website as well, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about all of my piano methods that I teach. I'm a piano teacher in real life, that's what I do. But anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel, subscribe and See you next time.